So uh, as Eric had previously mentioned, we have uh, four concepts to be presented in the open session today. Uh, two of them are for PARs, uh, two of them, this third, those are the first two, the third and fourth are RFAs that involve a set aside of funds dedicated to those uh, two funding opportunities. Before NHGRI or any institute at NIH can publish a funding opportunity announcement, they have to have a presentation and vetting in an open setting, and the concept has to be approved. We always use our advisory council for this purpose so that the council members are aware of uh, every funding opportunity announcement that we propose uh, to, to publish. So uh, we're gonna march through these concepts uh, one at a time. The first concept is titled Research Experiences in Genomic Research for Genetic Counselors. Uh, this presentation and the next will be made by Luis Cubano, Program Director in the Division of Genomic Medicine. And his slides are up. Luis, uh, we will hold a vote at the end of this presentation and discussion. So Luis, please go ahead. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we will present to you the first in a series of concepts that we are developing to address the suggestions included in the Training and Education Task Force Report presented by Dr. Wendy Shang during the February Council open session. As we follow the task force advice, we selected these two concepts that mirror one another to present the first as, as genomic counselors and data scientists are highly emphasized in the task force report. We will start by presenting the concept research experiences in genomic research for genomic counselors. Later today, there'll be a concept presentation entitled Research in Genetic Counseling Process and Practice. That concept is about methods in genomic, in genetic counseling, and it's not a research education program. Next slide. The concepts we presented today attend to a series of needs identified by the Training and Education Task Force Report. The presentation of the report in the February Council can be seen in YouTube, and the full report can be downloaded from the Council's meeting website. The task force identify individuals that are trained in genomics but are not performing genomic research. Specifically, two professions in high demand by other industries are genetic counselors and data scientists. Since individuals with master's degrees have limited opportunities to receive research education, we develop these concepts to attract them to genomic research in an early part of their career. Next slide. With this concept, we seek to increase the involvement of genetic counselors in research by providing them with the research education needed to fully integrate them into research teams. The concept will provide funds for domestic institutions to develop research education programs that will support genetic counselors with master's degrees who are not currently supported by research grants. The research education programs will integrate genetic counselors into genomic research projects and provide them with the necessary professional development to make them into genomic researchers. Next slide. We propose to use the R25 mechanism, which allow us to target individuals with terminal master's degrees who make up an important part of the research workforce, but for whom research training opportunities are limited. The program will provide funds for faculty salaries, participant salaries, travel to professional meetings, supplies needed for research, and will provide institutions with 8% of indirect costs. We expect genetic counselors to be involved in many research topics, depending on the research teams that they join and their personal interests as well. Next slide. For the budget, we propose a 225,000 total budget. Uh, that will be per year to support at least two participants per program per year. 
Uh, the programs can support participants for up to two years at a minimum of six person months and the grants will have a maximum duration of five years. Next slide. I want to thank the members of the training team for developing the concept. At this moment, we would like to start a discussion of this concept. The council leaders are Dr. Wendy Shong, Dr. Sharon Plong, and Dr. Hal Adietz. Dr. Shong, do you have any comments about the concept? So I think it's great that we're supporting the genetic counselors to enhance their research experience. I think there are going to be a couple different groups, um, some that are just immediately post completing their master's degree. And then we also have several genetic counselors in the workforce uh, who've been doing this for quite a while, but want to uh, enhance their research capability. And I think this is going to be a great opportunity for them. Um, I do think this is a limited amount of money and the money's going to go relatively quickly in terms of supporting those individuals. So just to be clear, although it's great that we're putting Putting in this much, um, it's not going to support all that many genetic counselors at the end of the day. So just to be aware of that uh, long term as we try and grow this workforce. Um, hopefully, though, it will create perhaps some enduring products that can be used to scale and to generate more or teach more genetic counselors along the way. Dr. Plon or Dr. Diaz? Um. Yeah, I just would like to echo Wendy that I think it's a great idea and I really support the training task force and would also encourage as someone who runs an NIH funded training program, it's a lot of work to create this kind of application. Um, and it'd be really nice to see if they could support some additional uh, trainees. I think what I'd be interested in hearing um, and perhaps can be elucidated in the RFA is more what do you consider success? You know, what does success for this program look like so that people can really think about best approaches? And it, I do think it's important to support them during the research time. I think it would be really helpful to have some training activities, particularly in areas like biostatistics, um, if their master's has not really focused on that from a research perspective. Uh, I think that you'll likely get a lot of applications for this award because there's really a great need for this. Anybody Kyle, else? do you have any comments? Again, I'll remind the council members to use the raised hand uh, tool if you wish to speak. One thing I'm learning about virtual meetings is you have to be comfortable with uh, silence, just giving everybody a chance to unmute if they wish to speak. Okay, well, I'm not hearing additional comments, so there can people, I- Howard has his hand up. Howard, Howard has his hand up. Oh, sorry about that. I'm not seeing that displayed. There you are, Howard. Go ahead, please. Uh, I just want to echo that this, I think this is a great concept uh, at my institution, genetic counselors and the education of genetic counseling is part of the Department of Genetics, where we also conduct basic genomics research. And I think they add a lot to our education and research. And there are certainly a lot of, uh, I think there will be many master's students uh, who will be very interested in this kind of program. So the comment about the scale of the program uh, should be taken into account. Uh, but I think this is a great idea. Thank you, Howard. Okay, can I get a motion to approve this concept, please? Uh, motion, motion to approve. And a second? Second. Second. We'll do this by voice vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Does anyone wish to abstain? Okay, thank you very much.